I, um, I saw something out of the corner of my eye. First time, I just let it go. I'm like, uh, no big deal, I'm just seeing things. Second time, um, I saw what appeared to be a very large rodent or a rat. Uh, and it ran towards this door, this door that was closed. And, but the space under the door, it just it didn't make sense to me. I'm like, you know, you might have had this much space. And it went through the door. And then another member of our group opened the door and came out. And I'm like, did you just see that? I think a rat just ran in there. He's like, no, nothing came in there. And, uh, and I'm like, no, th this time I couldn't let this one go. So I asked someone else. I said, did you see it? And nobody had seen it. And then, and then somebody came up to me and said, well, there is a story that a lot of people see a cat. One time I was sitting on the floor Indian style and, and um, it physically felt like a small child walked up to me and, and just kind of laid their head on my shoulder type of thing. Maybe this little girl looking out the windows that people outdoors playing. I just feel like maybe she was um, upstairs and maybe confined upstairs for whatever reason, for some reason or another, couldn't go outside. Um, but she spent a lot of time looking out those windows and I could pretty much visually see almost kind of what she was, what she was experiencing, what she felt. Um, and I don't really pick up a lot of sorrow. I think she ex ex accepted, you know, whatever it was that uh, maybe she had dealt to her, whether it was polio or some other kind of crippling disease or whatever. And I, again, I'm just going based on kind of an empathic, empathetic uh, sensations or feelings. All right, so, so far we've found a doll in the dance room and we've looked under a couple boards, haven't found anything. So I guess we'll uh, start our investigation here at the Bruce Mansion up in the attic. Is there anybody up here with us? What'd you hear, Josh? If that was you who made the noise, could you do that again for me, please? Did this baby doll belong to you? Was somebody just moving out there? Yeah, that was something that moved out here where we just came from. We're in this room now. If you could make the noise in here, we'd appreciate it. Did somebody take your baby at one time? It's you guys okay. stay here. Let me go out here real quick. All right. Josh just went out into the other room. Uh, we're all going to stay in here and see if uh, he can find out where the noise is coming from out there. If you made that noise out here, go ahead and do it again. If you hung yourself up here, are you the one that's haunting this place? Are you touching Ron right now? Do you feel the little girls up here with you right now? Well, uh, the right height. I came up here with my granddaughter before one investigation that brought her up beforehand. And uh, I don't know if that's the reason that... Uh, she might feel comfortable with you. That may be. sound like a girl's voice, I thought. It's like a distant Rocky. What? You didn't hear that? No. Who's the female voice that we keep hearing? Who's the female voice that we keep hearing? Who's the female voice that we keep hearing? 
Could your last name be Smith? Did you grow up in this house? You know, I honestly think if you hook that thing up, she'll communicate with you through well, that. You know, we have to go back down to the second floor then. Go hook, go hook the monitor. Let well, won't you it. come down with here? You take this, I'll tell me. I'll, me and you will head down there. Um, I don't know if a couple of people want to sit right here, here or something. You guys keep this up here for right now. Star. mansion on the second floor. I was getting ready for one of the ghost tours um, when putting away some of the few things that were scattered around trying to tidy up the place. I was walking down the main hall. I turned to the right into the sewing room area of the, of the mansion and all of a sudden there was something darting out in front of me. It took me off guard. I actually just kind of froze in place. Uh, it was very quick. It was about five foot seven, five foot eight, all in white. Um, the way it flowed in front of me, it almost looked like it was trailing off at the bottom end, uh, kind of like a, a gown. Um, and it got halfway across the hallway and then suddenly disappeared. I walked in with my stuff, set it down, and then I started to come around the, the counters, turn on the cash register, just get my computer set up. And as I was getting the stuff on the, on the table, I started to turn when I suddenly heard the voice of a man right to my left of me. And I whipped around real quick because I knew I was the only one there. And sure enough, of course, there wasn't anyone there. But it definitely uh, left me wondering. As, you know, these were some of the things I wasn't quite expecting. Even though our group's been around and investigating here since 2009 and some of the experiences that they've had. But until it happened to me, only then did I become a believer. It was like something's in here, and then like a shadow went by. If you're in this room, please give us a sign. And it's got to be something very distinctive. If you could knock on something or knock something over, we would appreciate it. If that was you, could you do that again, please? Do you have the energy to do something? I still feel like something's in here, but it's just not doing anything right now. I don't know if it's afraid or... Do you want us to bring the baby doll down here? Can you give me a sign what floor somebody died on? Or if you died in this house, give me a sign if you was on this floor. Are you mad because they're remodeling this house? Or because they're changing it? I just think they don't have enough energy to do something. Yet. Is it true that somebody's buried in the backyard? Are you the one that's buried back there? Do 
Do you feel trapped here? We've got a few things here on this table. I'm sure it wouldn't take much energy to move it. So show us that you're here and move something for us. Sound like something said no. No, I think I heard something too. No, you can't move anything? Okay, so right now me and Sean's on the second floor at the Bruce Mansion here in Brown City, Michigan. Um, when we first walked into this area, which is um, part of the Bruce Mansion that was converted into a one-room apartment, it looked like a dark shadow went across the room. And you just got this uneasy pre feeling but since we've been sitting here, we've caught what well, sound like little voices, but nothing significant enough to, you know, prove to, the, prove to us that there's any activity in here. You like having us here. Show me something that will prove that you're here. I thought he said something moved. Walk into that other room over there. Rocky said something about this back. You think it's a good decision to go down to the basement tonight? You hear that out there? Mm hmm. You hear that out there? Mm hmm. Is there anybody here that can actually leave here and come back when they want to? Man, let's go on. So like right after you did that, there was something like a grunting sound or something? I heard it too. My shoulder. Are you touching Sean? You know how you get like a muscle spasm? Mm-hmm. That's what it feels like. It's right in my, just one certain area on my shoulder. <clears throat> Did you not like that question I just asked you? Stop, stop, stop. I can't. There was just footsteps. I know, my shoulder's fucking hurt. Dude, I need to get out of here. Holy crap. Oh my god. What the No, it wasn't that. What the No, it wasn't that. If that was you and you're touching Sean, touch me, please. Right after that, I heard it sound like footsteps. God, I feel this right here. Just feel right, no, feel right on my skin. It's all warm right now. Mm hmm. Holy crap. 
Just keep talking to it. Did you come in the bathroom with me? So does that mean you're trapped in this house? Did I make you mad? What in the f Well, welcome to the attic. I always have this sensation of almost an asthmatic attack where you can feel your throat getting really tight and it never fails every time I enter that attic. I have that same experience. I was up with a group of people that were visiting the mansion. Um, we were in the apartment which is on the second floor. It's the most, it's the area that is the most modern. It's been remodeled so that it really looks, you know, more up to date. Um, we were in there and all of a sudden we heard footsteps, really, really loud footsteps coming from the attic. Um, at first we just thought it was other people in the groups until our motion detector went off. We had a motion detector that was set up in the little girl's bedroom pointed towards the hallway. So it was gonna go off when any, anybody went towards the attic. So as soon as that went off, we went out and there were people there and we were like, were you in the attic? And they said, no, nobody's in there. So we know nobody was in the attic, but yet we heard really, really loud footsteps, very distinct footsteps coming from the attic. I actually got my hair pulled and it was really kind of exciting for me because I knew there was spirit activity here and the first time that I had my hair pulled it it made me happy because I knew there was something here if that was you do it again please Hold this for a second. If you're getting angry because we're here asking you all these questions, give us another sign. Please come in this room with us. We cannot hurt you. Hell, we can't even see you, let alone hurt you. What the hell is that? A little girl just laughed. Let's go. Come here. Girls in here with us. That was me. Whoa, that was up. Jesus. I entered the attic and instantly I had almost in my my ear a little girl repeating dolly 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 and I couldn't understand um, what was happening and I asked the owner if uh, there was a little girl here because I sensed a little girl and she said uh, that no I think at the time that she said no at, at that point that there was no little girl here um, that people had seen the little girl but nobody had experienced anything in 
the home itself. Well, I told her that I kept hearing Dolly, 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 and her mouth dropped open, and she said that uh, prior to me coming in here that her granddaughter had found a doll in the attic. And I said, well, I think you need to bring that doll back. I said, I think the little girl is wanting the little doll back. Um, and at the same time, uh, something was drawing me to the other side of the room. So I walked over to the other side of the room and happened to look down and there was a loose board. And I will show you later the, uh, the loose board. So I bent down and I opened up the loose board or lifted it up and I almost felt like the little girl was telling me that that was a hiding place for her doll. So the owner of the home, Candy, decided to bring that doll back and the last I knew the doll was brought back. And I haven't experienced the little girls and I've been here many times since. The little girl does not say dolly 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 to me anymore. Yeah, well then Candy, the owner, felt so bad about the doll that she ended up putting a Christmas tree up there for the little girl and kind of made a little shrine for the little girl. And um, that's one of my experiences here. There were two other girls. We were reading a story to the little girl who we believe was up there because she shows herself every now and then. So we were reading the story and you could hear the traffic outside and you could hear the footsteps of the girls walking around with their recorders, but you could not hear a word I was saying when we listened to the recorder later. The next day, the word showed up on the recorder. Really heavy. I felt like I couldn't breathe. I felt like I just wanted to get out of, just going up the stairway. I just wanted to turn right back around and go right back downstairs. And did you do that or? No, we were in cleanup mode, so we had to clean up and it was just, I, I just felt it at the top, you know, bottom of the stairs walking up. It kept getting heavier and heavier and heavier. And as soon as I was done up in the attic, I literally raced back downstairs and the, the heaviness was gone. I feel like the spirits aren't happy with me. They want us to basically leave is what I feel. Do you feel that they're happy with us here tonight? Or? A lot more experience is happening, a lot more coldness happening, a lot more just that I've never felt anything like that before. I would rate this being the most active house that I've ever been in. I've been in active houses before, but it's never as active as what I've seen and heard here. Has there ever been a time that you've had to just basically step out of the house to take a breather or you know, gather your thoughts? I did that last week. And what happened there? Um, I was just feeling like I needed to get out of the house. I have no idea why. It was whenever somebody had come up and started talking to me. And I got this really, I don't know how to describe it, just to feel like I needed it to get out. And I ended up going outside and taking a breather for five minutes. I think that was a plant. Yeah. Is that sticking out? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Okay, if that little girl's up here, I know that wasn't you that was trying to hurt me in the bathroom. Is there somebody up here with you? Whatever it is, it's starting to get more aggressive now. Whoa. What the hell is that? Come here for a minute. Is that a window? Look at that circle. What is that in there? Or know. a light? Yeah, it's something. Do you guys hear that pop? Stay still. There's footsteps in the hallway right out here. We normally don't like to whisper. But it seems whatever we're trying to communicate with is either getting more agitated because of all the questioning or they're starting to feel more comfortable with us. It seemed like it all started when I started talking about John Smith. Or not John Smith, John Walker.
Okay, if it's not John Walker, did you know him? Let's head back to that other bedroom right there. Did you say hey? Did you say hey? No. Did you say hey? Did you say hey? No. I hit that plant back there. Did you say anything when you no, said? No, I didn't say anything. As soon as you did that, something goes hey. What did they? What did they say they picked up in this room? Dude, just felt like I freaking bumped. Give me the camera. Give me the camera. Huh? Give me the camera. So I was walking right down this hallway. Josh. Did you just hear that? So I was walking right down this hallway. Josh. Did you just hear that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I was walking down the hallway here, it just felt like, uh, as we was talking, right on my calf, my pants just like went into my leg and I felt pressure on my leg, so. I had seen something. I was freaking right back here. Did you just hear that? Yeah, go back there. I'm telling you something's back here in this apartment. I feel how cold it gets right here. I mean, it's got to be 10, 15 degrees colder. Oh, yeah. Okay, for those of you who have not been to the Bruce Mansion, we've been investigating for probably 20 minutes. The place is crazy active, so you need to be here. Let's see if they get mad if I sat in their chair. Something. Smoke? Yeah. Go down to that apartment area. Remember when we were yeah, in there that night? And when you get down there, I mean, it gets, it looked like a shadow. Yeah, Went yeah, straight across. The there were shadows. It got we were cold in there. Then we heard, we heard the girl's voice. We heard footsteps on that hallway down there. Yeah, we were getting some crazy shit down there. We'll let them get settled. And I think whatever's on that second floor is either the little girl or something imitating itself to be the little girl. You know, it could be the guy that committed suicide here and just taking on different forms or trying to trick people. If you hung yourself up here, please give us a sign right now. Was that them that just came to that baby monitor? Said no. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that, Ron? Yeah, I said like no or oh or nope. Nope. Why won't you do it for us?